But let's talk about emotional vulnerability. You know, subhanAllah, whenever you become dependent on one person or you become dependent on a group of people, you are at their mercy. SubhanAllah, you weaken yourself. You start to have a low self-esteem. You start to have a defeated mentality. And you get used to being a bum. You know the whole saying of teach a man how to fish or give him a fish? You give him a fish, you feed him for a day, you teach him how to fish, you feed him for a year. Right? You get used to that sometimes. You get used to, oh man, I'm having a rough day. I need to go talk. I need to complain to this person. I need to call up this person. Oh, I need money. I, need, I know I can always go to this person. I know I can always go to that person. And you're complaining. And you're making yourself vulnerable and weak. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yuridu lak al yusr. Allah wants to make things easy for you. And Ibn Rajab rahimahullah, he says very beautifully, he says that people go to the door of this person and that person and that person, this Malik and that Malik, this king or that king. But Malikul Muluk, the king of kings, has his door always open for you. And you only go there in times of tragedy. No! When you develop a habit of turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not, not in a way that expresses displeasure with Him. And as shakwa as Imam al-Qayyim rahimahullah is one of the most beloved forms of dua. It's the dua of Ya'qub alayhi salam. Ashku huzni wa bathi ila Allah. I'm not going to worry about you. I'm going to complain about my grief and my sadness to Allah. You know what I'm going through, but I'm going to, I'm going to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayyub alayhi salam. All of the stuff that happened to him, he complained to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There was shakwa. But the way he complains, Masani al dur wa anta arham al rahimin. Oh Allah, my Lord, harm has struck me and you're the most merciful of those who have mercy. Just a few words, it showed his attitude with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, you know about my situation. And you know, it's good to talk about your situation with Allah because we as human beings naturally, we like to talk about our problems. We like to talk about what we're going through. You know, subhanAllah, many times, in, uh, you know, uh, uh, it was funny because I was once watching um, uh, and, and a show on, on psychiatry and things of that sort. And there was one person who was talking about, you know, basically, if you think about it, and this is not to insult any psychiatrist because your work is important, because there is serious clinical depression, no doubt about it. But sometimes people go there without really needing them, and they don't need the antidepressant, they don't need that. But you know what? I want to go inside that office and sit on that nice couch and lay back and complain for an hour and then pay $600 at the end and tell you, you are the greatest psychiatrist that exists on the face of the earth. You're such a good listener, right? And brothers, if you want to try helping your wives, sometimes when your wives complain to you, don't try to offer them solutions. Just listen. <laughs> listen. SubhanAllah. We as human beings naturally want to be heard. We naturally want someone to hear us and listen to us. Right? That's just the way that we are. That's the way we're programmed. And Allah programmed us that way so that we would complain and turn to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the prophets did it. Zakaria alayhi salam when he's when he's when he's saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa inni wa hana al azmu minni wa ishta'ala al ra'su shayba my bones on the inside have been completely you know they're decaying they're gone wa hana al azmu wa ishta'ala al ra'su shayba and the gray hair on my head you see where it is of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's oppressed me it's blowing up literally the word that he uses is ishta'al which means a fire broke out on my head and there is not a single black hair on my head and as Al-Baghawi rahimahullah said, what was Zakariya alayhi salam doing? He's saying, oh Allah, you know my inside and you know my outside. Anta al-ghani wa nahnu al-fuqara'u ilayk. Anta al-qawi wa nahnu du'afa. You are the one who is self-sufficient and we are completely in need of you. You are the one who is all bestowed with power and endowed with power. And we are the ones who are completely weak. We could do nothing without you, oh Allah. That way you're not expressing displeasure with him. But you know what? Someone hears you all the time. And when you have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't need anyone else to hear out your problems. You don't need anyone else to listen to your problems. Because you know that you're calling upon the one who doesn't get, who doesn't get saddened whenever you call upon him. You're not going to harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know that you're calling upon the one who has your best interests, who has your best interests as a priority, and at the same time is fully capable of helping you at any time.
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who turn to Him in our everyday lives with our small problems, our minor problems, and with our harsh problems and major problems and tragedies. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make us amongst those who are forbidden from the pleasure and the ladha of turning to Him and making dua and standing in Qiyamul Layl. Allahumma ameen. Akhulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al-Muslimin.